this way. Thank, Thank you, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> See ya. Love you, buddy. Love you. Safe yeah. travels home. No deck. Until next, next, until next time. Until next time. Friggin' mask. Friggin' mask. Bullshit. See ya. See ya. Safe See ya. travels to Texas. All right, baby, this is it. This might, might be our last sit of the trip. Might be. We're going to hang and hunt. Hung and bung. We're going. Hopefully by tonight we'll be like, you know what, we just hung and bung. We're going to hang and hunt tonight. It's been an awesome trip. We got to hunt with Kane for like four days for sure. My dad got to hunt with him a couple days after that. My dad and Uncle Jay came. They got to experience North Dakota for the first time, which was sick. And now Dean and I get to go and just get after it together. We have not been in a tree together. We haven't hunted together the entire trip. That's crazy. We have not hunted together the entire trip. Last day, we're going to hunt together. We're going to hike in a couple stands, probably three quarters of a mile, maybe more. A couple stands, hang them, get in a tree, set up the tree arm. We got a bunch of gear to lug back there, but that is just, that's what we love to do. Just go and get after these deer. Just go get after them. We got pictures of a good buck this morning. I mean, literally, we set up this camera, and when we got the first pictures of a deer, they were coming up over this hillside, and it was a doe, and Dean and I were like, man, it would be sick if right at sun sunrise, a buck came over that hill, skylighted with his rack just in the orange and yellow and red sky lit up. And it hasn't happened since we set up that camera almost a month ago, and this morning we woke up to those pictures. We also left my dad at the airport yesterday and his last words were, go back to your roots. And so we're going back to the original killing tree that started this whole North Dakota fiasco. We're going back to that same area and we're going in to hang and hunt and whatever happens, I'm good with it. out of that dead tree right there, both Dean and I. And today, we're going a little bit farther into the green trees, but a buck just showed up on camera this morning, and he looks very, very nice. stands in the tree we've kind of done it in a pretty quick amount of time 
This is where we wanted to be to check this buck out that we have trail camera pictures of this morning. Typically when they're in an area in daylight in the morning, it's the first place they'll come to and check back into in the evening. Likely bedding close. We have a perfect wind in this spot. And that slew system over there by that lake, or the slew system that fingers through this little saddle right here, and over that hill, there's another lake. So he's likely bedding in the first, and one of those two. And they, they like to stay in these little low saddle areas close to the cover to travel through this bean field. So I don't know, we'll see. Looking right up there. What's that? I don't know, he's just kind of. I mean, that is a pretty buck. Like that's a sweet looking buck, but he's just, I don't know what to do, I want to shoot him, like I want to shoot him, but, it's got a bigger rack than I thought, yeah. He's acting like an older deer. Oh, he's still standing down there.
good. Man, that is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I mean... Basically the last night of the hunt. And you gotta think about letting that buck go. Jeez, oh man. That one split is nice. Nice split. <laughs> 